Hi, this is Tim Stein, and in this video I want to talk about oral training. What do I mean by oral training? What I mean is the development of the ear. When you play music, it's very important to listen to exactly what it is you're doing. If you can't listen to what you're doing, then it's very difficult to play well. And if you want to talk about, you know, adjustments of tone levels, you want to play loud, you want to play soft, you want to hear what's going on when you're playing many notes within a chord, or you want to listen to what's happening in the left hand, it's very important to have as good an ear as possible. How can we develop the ear? Well, I would always start with some very simple warm-up exercises. Take, for example, just playing single notes and then just singing them back. It's what I call just warming up the ear, even before you start playing anything. So just play any single note and just sing it back to la, another note, and try and sing notes within your range. If you sing notes that are without your range, it's actually quite difficult to pitch them. And then we're not worried about the quality of pitch, we're more worried about just being concerned about being able to hear what it is you're actually playing. So as I say, you just play a few notes la, and just sing them back. And once you've played single notes, you can then start to play two notes at a time and you can try to sing either the top note or the bottom note. So let's take some very simple intervals, for example. And when I talk about intervals, I'm talking about the distance from one note to another. So an interval of a third, for example, would be a C to an E. An interval of a fifth would be a C to a G and so on. So let's take an interval of a fifth, a C and the G, for example. So you play them both together. And then you sing out whichever sound you hear. So if it's the G, la. And if it's the C, you hear, first of all, you sing the C. If you can't hear the top note and you only hear the bottom note, that's absolutely fine. If you sing, or if rather, if you play the top note first, and then sing it back, it's much easier. If you play both notes together at the same time, sometimes it's quite difficult to hear the top note or the bottom note. So for example, you play them again. If it's the top note you hear, sing the top note. If it's the bottom note you hear, sing the bottom note. And again, if you're playing them together and you're finding that difficult, just repeat the notes on their own and then sing them out. You can also take a very simple tune like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, for example. And even if you don't know the notes, you want to try to hear the sounds in your head before you play them on the piano. So let's say, take the first few notes, C. And I don't know what the next note is, so I try and pitch it, la and I'm not sure what that note is. So just play around with a few notes. It might be a note higher than the A, or it might be a note lower than the A. And that's the note that I want. And then sing the next note out, la, which I think is the note below the G, and so on. So when you look at a piece of music, eventually you should be able to look at the sounds, hear them in your head before you play them. Another useful exercise is tapping out rhythms. Now, when you talk about tapping out rhythms, you think, well, what's that got to do with oral training? Well, oral training is, it, rhythms are just as important. You want to be able to hear a rhythm before you play it. So you can take any rhythm from a piece that you're playing, tap it out first, and then play it. You can also give yourself some very simple rhythms, tapping them out first of all, or clapping them out. For example, ta, ta, T, T, ta, and then just repeating them on the piano. Ta, ta, T, T, ta. You could also write out those exercises, you could write out those rhythmic patterns. By writing them out, you'll both see how they're meant to be played and you'll hear them at the same time. Another useful tip is to practice chords, both major and minor. So for example, you play a major chord and then you play a minor chord and you shut your eyes and you try and hear those sounds in your head and you play them first of all and you try to work out whether it's a major chord you're playing or whether it's a minor chord you're playing. Roland has a free app which can be linked to many of Roland's digital keyboards. So the app, for example, will present you with different levels of ability from beginner to average to expert. So if you press the start key, if we just choose beginner level and you just press the start tab, 
It will give you your starting note. You then just press the next tab. It will then play the note. You will then have to find the note, which in this case happens to be the right one, which is a very useful exercise in developing your oral ability. So I hope that helps.